Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Uh, sorry about the delay. There was some issues. I mean, there were some issues with the internet. Okay. Yes. So welcome. How was your weekend? Nice. Nice. Good. Relaxing. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Great. Okay. Very good. I'm sorry about the dogs. I mean, those are neighbors. So actually, don't worry. Don't worry. Not even mine, you know. They're not even mine. That's the worst thing. Okay, let me just move the virtual background, please. Yes, this is beginner's three. Okay. Well, 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 well. This is the third week. Anything special about the weekend? Did you study? Did you practice? Did you go out? Did you do anything special? Did you stay home? Did you watch TV? What did you do? <laughs> okay, that is the topic actually that we're gonna study, okay? So we're gonna study the simple past, okay? So one real challenge is to learn the verse in past, right? So we need to practice the verse in past, especially the irregulars. The irregular verse are definitely have to be memorized. So that's what we're gonna do, okay? And let me just share my screen. We're gonna see the presentation. But of course, this is our class number nine. And as I was mentioning, definitely we're gonna name activities that we hate doing, <laughs> something that we're not very happy about, <laughs> okay? And create affirmative and negative sentences in simple past, okay? Very simple objectives, all right. The first thing, okay, the things that people don't like to do. These are the eight things people hate to do or hate doing, right? Number one is, what is the activity? Stand, stand, stand in line. line. A standing stand. line, right? We hate to do that. We say, oh no, why do we have to make that long line, that big line, right? So people hate standing in line. Today in the bank. Imagine. Because it's the last day of the month. Exactly. Usually happens. People make long yes. lines at the bank. Well, in the past, it was even worse for paying bills, right? Yes. At the hospitals, especially when it's a public hospital, people make long lines. Yes. Uh, during the quarantine, to the pay party. for products at the, at the supermarket. People make long lines to enter the supermarket as well. Okay. Number two, yes. what is number two? Laundry. 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 Maybe it's not that we hate to do it, but it's not our favorite activity either, okay? <laughs> we say, uh -huh, we have to do the laundry. And especially because we postpone and postpone doing the laundry, right? So the more you postpone it, the worse it gets, the bigger the volcano goes up, okay? So, so more clothes you have to wash, then it's not fun anymore, right? Okay, the next one. Travel to work. Travel to work. Travel to work. Maybe it's now a nice activity to do, or we don't consider it a fun activity to do because of the conditions, right? Because we have to run, we don't have much time, the buses are crowded, the public transportation is not good. So that's why probably we tend to hate that activity, right? Okay, number four. Go to, meeting. Go to, go to meeting. meeting. 
No going to meeting, staying in the meeting for okay. long hours. Okay, meeting right now. <laughs> well, this okay. is a class. This is fun. But people, <laughs> when you are at work okay. and they call you, we have a meeting. Yes. People, we have a meeting. And they spend long, long hours in a meeting, right? And sometimes it's not that necessary with consider. Okay, number five, exercise. exercise. Do you hate to exercise? Sometimes. Oh. It's difficult, right? Oh. Yeah. Get up. The whole day I walk. <laughs> ah, that's a good exercise, right? Or, uh, sometimes. Five, five mil. Nice. That's a good exercise. But if you only get up and start exercising, then you go like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Number six. Work in the yard. Work in the Work yard. In the yard. Work, Work in, the, in yard. the yard. Well, some people love it. Yeah, people who love gardening. They like it. Probably they don't really hate it, right? Okay. Number seven. In the, the house. House. in the house. In the house. Probably uh, not easy, not an easy task, but uh, still we have to do it, right? We have to clean our houses. Okay. Well, on the weekends, mainly when you have a little bit of more time, so you clean with details, right? In the spaces that we don't usually see when we just clean in a rush. Right. And number eight. Open, open the mail. The mail. Open the yes, mail. this doesn't happen in paper anymore, right? So mm -hmm. now it is usually yes. an email, right? When you open the account of your email, you have tons and tons of emails to read, probably. Okay, good. Now, well, open the correo electronic. Exactly. <laughs> open the email. Email. Exactly, open emails, right? And read emails because there are so many. There are so many emails in your inbox, right? Okay, good. Do you hate to do any of these things and the reasons why? Not necessarily these things. What other things do you hate to do? That maybe it's not that hate like that, but it's that. Mm, you have a hard time to start doing them for example doing the laundry like if you can avoid you do something else and then you don't do it right so it's uh we are not very happy with these activities we are not happy doing these activities right so maybe you have some other activities that you don't like to do okay so this is what we're gonna discuss about do you hate to do these things or what other things do you hate to do and why Okay, are these questions clear or do you have any question? No? Sure? All right. So I'm going to stop sharing. Let's see. What are we going to do? Anybody? What are we going to do? What are we going to discuss in groups? Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes. Tell me. Can you, can you, um, I I <laughs> Add a I tried the I tried the I tried to write the questions, but uh, I can I share see. the screen again. Okay. All right, no problem. Don't worry. It's okay. Actually, that's what I was gonna say. Okay. Do you hate to do these things, or what other things do you hate to do, and why? So it can be other, not necessarily the ones that you see in the picture here. It can be other activities. For example, you say, I hate to wash the toilet. <laughs> Why? Because this and this and this, of course, okay? So it can be like really, maybe really dumb activities, but if you don't really like to do them, you can mention them. For Miss, example, uh, yes. Planchar ropa como es. I don't. Ah, iron, I hate iron. <laughs> you hate to iron the clothes or press yeah. the clothes. All right. Yeah, I hate to set the closet probably to organize the closet. So it's like, why? <laughs> why me? <laughs> oh, some people hate to wash the dishes. Some people hate to probably prepare food. Yeah, 
to wash the the refrigerator or to clean the refrigerator, right? Some people don't like to do it. Okay. Are the questions clear now? Yes. yes. Are we ready? Yes. All right, perfect. So you're gonna have three minutes max to discuss, okay? What activities you hate to do and why? Why you don't like to do them? Okay, I'm gonna make five groups probably. You're gonna be in groups of three basically all right here we go Do you have to what? I had um I don't my clothes. Um I actually uh I don't iron my clothes never in my life. <laughs> <laughs> okay and, and because I I don't know I, I don't like I and, don't like uh-huh and <laughs> and my clothes i try to don't need iron yeah. <laughs> okay <laughs> so, yeah. and you what other things do you hate to do and why mm, i hate to Exercise. <laughs> I don't like. <laughs> I yeah. don't like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Never, it's... never, never exercise. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. And Edgar, what other things do you hate to do? Uh, I hate uh, travel to work. Mm -hmm. uh, to the laundry <laughs> to eran lo del desorden desorden verdad ajá desastres Desa desastres qué significa teacher how do you say uh, desorden Oh, you can say disorder or mess. Mess. Oh, yeah, okay. It's a mess. My house is a mess. <laughs> With double S. Thank mm -hmm. you. All right, no problem. Um uh, I had to do laundry every every weekend. I hate it. <laughs> I 
full. I don't like by the food. No? No. The supermarket. The supermarket. Don't like I body. Like. Uh... I like. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. But I don't like go the buy uh, a food. The... Yes, pero va en el mercado. At the market. Ah, At the, the market. market. Uh -huh. The market. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. You're I welcome. don't like. It's too many people. <laughs> too many <laughs> crazy people yes. <laughs> passing <laughs> by. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I hate to do um, a supermarket because um, more. Uh, Today uh, is very difficult because uh, for the COVID. Yes. Claro, administrativo que tengo a veces. Entonces sí, agarro todo el tráfico. Y eso es odioso, eso sí es cierto. Yeah. Bueno, en mi caso, I hate to do order the room my son. Eso es lo que más detesto. <risa> es mucho desorden el que tienen los muchachitos. Hombres tenían que ser. <risa> Vamos a ver. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más odian, Oscarito? Um, um, clean my room. My... No. Uh, my room. <risa> es porque con... Sí. Yes, I had to do travel to work. <laughs> okay, now you. Do you have to do these things? Yes, I have to uh, to go to meetings <laughs> <laughs> or basically uh, to go to work. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you hate to do any of these things? Yes, I hate to open the Gmail. The the mail. The mail. <laughs> O sea, sería ajá, email, porque no creo que... <risa> ya no. Sí. Do you hate to do these things? Yes, I hate to do exercise. <risa> It's so difficult. <risa> Uh, okay, do you hate to do anything? Yes, I had to work in the yard. <laughs> yo no puedo decir eso porque yo... In my house on, on Saturdays. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. no, no nos queda mucho tiempo para eso. <laughs> Yes, and my my work is very very tired and mm -hmm. I, so I, I can clean my house on weekend. So mm -hmm. I have to to do on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. Okay, I work the Saturday. <gasps> really? <Yes>. Monday <sighs> and Sunday. <laughs> Hey, teacher. Yes. ¿Cómo se dice bañar al perro? Lim bañar a la mascota. Give a shower to the dog. Bye, shower, shower to the dog. okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hate 
Anduve cerca, anduve Oscar cerca. Sí, igualito. Oscar hate to do. <risa> 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 ok, Oscar hate to give a shower to yourself. Yes. Teacher, yes, how, yes. Do you, how do you say yo tampoco, neither, there, neither I or something like, like that? Or me neither. Me ah, neither. me neither. Like when you say mm -hmm. me too, me neither. That's the easiest way. But it, there are many other forms, but depends of the auxiliary. For example, if you say I don't like coffee, for example, mm -hmm. and you don't like coffee, you say I don't like coffee either because I don't. Mm -hmm. You can mm -hmm. say that, but the easy form, me neither. Me neither. Me neither. Mm -hmm. How do you spell either? Either E I T H E R and neither N E I T H E R. Thank, Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. <laughs> all right. After all this conversation and expressing all the dislikes and hates, let's see. <laughs> the biggest haters now. <laughs> what are the big <laughs> things that you hate the most? All right, tell me about your partners. For example, yes, Margarita was saying, Oscar hates to give a shower to his pet. So volunteers, or we go in order. We're gonna start in order better with Miss Flor. Tell me something that you remember that your partners hate to do. Somebody, not necessarily everybody. Mm -hmm. Something that calls your attention that your partners hate to do. Can we get started? Yes. yes. I hate to travel to work. That's you. Yes. But yes. somebody else, somebody else from your group. Another person that was in your group. Mm, okay. For example, you can say Ricardo, hey, uh -huh. all right. Let's see somebody else. Yes. O Oscar hates to do laundry. Oscar um, hates to do the and laundry. Shower, and shower his dog. Uh, her, his dog. All right. <laughs> okay. And, Very good. And, Ma and Margarita. In my room. <laughs> and Margarita ordered the, the room of her son. Yeah, she hates to order the, the yeah, her son's room. room. Exactly. <laughs> it's true. Very good, Mr. Ricardo. Very good. Hey, Somebody Jeff. else? Yes. Richard hates to do paint the house. <laughs> Richard hates to paint the house. All right. Yes. <laughs> okay, good example. Teacher me. All right, go ahead. Uh, Luis, I had clean the house. Luis hates clean the house. The house, the windows, okay. the garage, uh, the <laughs> The, <laughs> car, the, yard. In the garage in the oh, house. All the house. All the house. All the oh, house. house. <laughs> Wendy, I had to do food the market. The mark. Yeah, and the mark. Okay, Wendy hates to buy the food in the in the market. Supermarket no, me, at the no, market. No, I mean too. No, she no, hates no, to no. go buy. She hates shopping yes. for food. Yes. <laughs> yes. Because yes. the bags are heavy, you have to be walking from the market to one place to another mm -hmm. where to buy the buy the chicken, the cheese, the bread. Yeah, it's heavy. Yeah. I work okay. the dog. Right. Okay. Somebody mm -hmm. else? Another person that wants to tell us the me teacher. All right, go ahead. Gabriela uh, Martinez hates uh, watching this. And, and she hates the mess in the house. Uh, she hates when, yeah, the house is messy, right? Not Leo messy, but messy is the adjective, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> to describe yes. when the house is in disorder. That's a mess. You say, oh, you make a mess in this house. So that is messy. Uh, yes, me too. Me too. When you try to put the things in order and then another person move everything. And you're like, what happened here? <laughs> okay, great. Somebody else? Someone else? Someone else? All right, nobody else. No more <laughs> gossip about your partner's hates. All right, it's good. 
Let me see. I'm sharing the screen again. Yeah, we already talked about this. And we have a conversation. Let me see. It's kind of, yes. This conversation introduces the past tense, right? Remember that at the beginning of the class, I asked you, did you, right? Did you go shopping? Did you go to the mall? Did you go to the movies? Did you stay home? Did you watch TV? Did you do the laundry? Okay. So this is how we're going to practice. Let me just, okay. I'm not quite sure if we're going to be able to move this, but let's see. Yes. Here we go. So Michael asked Jennifer, definitely they are at school. And then he asked her, hi, Jennifer, did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did, the laun did laundry and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what do you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study, I just watched television all weekend. Uh-huh, poor Michael. Okay. Michael is... Didn't do anything, he just yes. watched television all weekend. <laughs> poor Michael. All right, one more time. If you have any question with vocabulary, please ask me, okay? Hi, Jennifer, did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend. I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what do you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. All right. Do you have any question about the vocabulary or pronunciation? You want to repeat? You want to practice anything? Hmm? For example, yes. teacher. Yes. And e, the Finnish, how do you say? Watched. 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 This. What? It's like a T sound. Give me what? Let me get another color. I'm gonna get this one. Yeah, it's like with uh, with. Yes, it's a T sound. They say watched. I it's watched a... television. Yes. Jennifer, what? second. We okay. last Saturday. I exercised. The, this the is like a exercise. D. Yes, like a exercise. exercise. Exercise in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned. It's like then my dish. my roommate. My roommate, roommate. and I. Roommates. Mm -hmm. Roommates and I. Mm -hmm. Cleaned. Cleaned. Mm -hmm. The laundry. Did laundry and, and shopped. And shop. This is like a T sound too. Shop. Mm -hmm. Uh, I shop. Mm -hmm. And then I visit I my visited, parents. Visited, it's visited, like, visited yes. my parents. Visited, uh -huh. visited. I visited my parents. Visited my, visited my parents. That's right. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else? No? Sure. All right, let's practice. So we're gonna practice. I can give you a screenshot of this conversation, no problem. Okay, and we practice in the rooms. Okay, let's go to the rooms. I send you the screenshot. No problems. Let's see. Okay.
Hello? Hi, Miss. You're not in a group. Ahorita la, la asigno, no problem. Thank you, teacher. All right, you're welcome. My roommate and cleaning did laundry and soup, soup, shop, shop, and then and I visit my parents. Yeah. My parents. So, what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test of day. Study. That's it. Study. Oh no, uh, do we have a test today? Okay. Ahí continúa. Ah, yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just want, I just watch. TV and television all weekend. <laughs> okay. But now, uh, cambiamos. Ahora tú empiezas. Okay. Bye. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I have a, bu a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Charlie okay. Ta. Okay. I said hi and if you have a good weekend. Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. Then my roommate, I clean it. I clean, did my laundry, and I shopped and I visited my parents. Today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I ex exercise in the morning. Then my roommate, and I clean the laundry and shop and the, I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched your television all weekend. Okay. <laughs> okay. Vaya. Okay. Hi, Noemi. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I have a, a busy weekend. Si no, ahí sí, no sé. I don't know. El intermedio creo que es porque este es el tercer módulo de, del básico principiante. Teacher. Ah. Hello. 
Una pregunta y en español, porque estás pegado. De, de, este, es el, este es el último módulo de principiantes. ¿Cuál seguiría en el orden que corresponde? Básico, creo. Básico, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. ah. Básico sí. nivel 1. Ah, yes. Ellos ya van por intermedio, mis muchachitos. Yeah. ¿no? Ya. Yeah. <risa> Viendo, viendo cómo está de difícil no, el básico. Yo diciendo que ya me imagino todo, cómo va a estar no el otro. Está Pero dice que nos van a retornar, dice a pre, pre principiante. <risa> a maternal nos van a mandar. <risa> Beginners. <risa> Teacher, ¿qué you yeah. say Roommate. Roommate. Es como uh -huh. alguien que comparte, por ejemplo, cuando dos personas pagan un apartamento. Son compañeros ah, como de, de, de cuarto. Ah, ok, compañero de cuarto. Uh -huh. Así como Clesmate. Cles, eh, ajá, pero no necesariamente están en el mismo cuarto, pues. Sino que puede ser que... Con, puede ser que compartan el mismo apartamento. Exacto. Por ejemplo, la, y ajá. tengan dos habitaciones. Exacto. Que paguen la renta eh, entre los dos. O a veces más personas. <ríe> More people. Sí, dos a room. Es que... Generalmente yeah. pasa con los estudios, ¿verdad? Pero ya las áreas comunes sí las comparten. Mm -hmm, el mm -hmm. living room, the kitchen. Y si no, duermen en camarotes, no problema. Exactly. <risa> ok. The room. Right. Roommate. Ah, okay. ok. Ok, ok, ok. Thank you. Yes. It's better. It's better. Is okay. Better. Okay. Again. Okay. Hi, Luis. Did you have a good weekend? Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Hi, Jennifer. Uh, did you have a good weekend? Well, I have a busy weekend. And I feel a little tired today. Oh, really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. Take my room and I clean it. Take my room and finish. Yes. A long practice. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, new words, difficult words. Any new word? ¿Alguna palabra nueva que yes. se haya encontrado? Yes. Yes. Visit, visited, visit. Visited. Visited. Sí, como de ter visited. con más determinación, así. Visited. I visited. I visited my parents. O puede ser visited también, no hay problema. I visited my okay. friends. Uh -huh. okay. Any other? Teacher, yes. laundry. A mí me cuesta laundry. Shop. Laundry, I did laundry, we did laundry, shopped. Trae que ser como un shop. poco de aspiración, así como el aire. Shopped. 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 We shopped. O, o sea, al inicio, cuando uno empieza con estas palabras difíciles, tiene que exagerar un poco. No problem. Obviamente, ya después no van a hablar así. ¿ve? <ríe> You're not going to be exaggerating. <ríe> exactly. Exactly. <ríe> right. Uh -huh. But at the beginning, it's okay to exaggerate, como para hacer un poco más el, el accent, ¿verdad? No problem. Okay. Any other? Any other word? New word? Difficult words? The verse in past. Cleaned. Exercised. <laughs> Shopped. Shop. All right. Good. No problem. Let's continue. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Okay. All right. participants here. Bye. Acá tengo la presentación. 
poco, lo vamos a mover por acá. Vale, esto es como lo basic en cualquier tiempo gramatical en inglés. Vean la primera imagen. This is the basic form. ¿Ok? Siempre va a haber oraciones afirmativas, negativas y just no questions. Aquí todavía nos faltan las information questions, pero ya vamos a llegar ahí. Pero basic structures en cualquier tiempo. Simple present, in present continuous, en este caso que es el simple past, ¿verdad? Ok, siempre va a ser el sujeto, el verbo en pasado. En este caso, el verbo que les ponen como ejemplo es started, started, es empezó, empezar, en pasado, ¿verdad? Negative, vamos a necesitar el auxiliary, did not. Si yo quiero contractar el did not, simplemente digo didn't. Y es mucho más fácil. Yo personalmente recomiendo usar auxiliaries. Ok, así contractados. Para, más bien dicho, contractions. Para no estar haciendo did not. I did not clean the house. So es un poquito más largo. So simplemente digo, I didn't clean the house. Yes. Y... Para iniciar la question, la yes, no question, simplemente inicio con el auxiliar did. Did you clean the house? Did you play video games? Did you? En el caso que yo le estoy hablando directamente a alguien, obviamente si estoy hablando de otra persona va a ser did he, did she, did we, did they, pero siempre voy a iniciar la question con el auxiliary did, que es el pasado del do. Acuérdense que el simple present tenemos el do, como auxiliar, entonces para el simple past tenemos el did. Sí. Yes. Bye. Acá hay unos ejemplos. There are some examples, pero acá las oraciones ya están con verbos irregulares. He drew beautiful pictures last week. You gave the present to your friend. We bought a new car. Y aquí tenemos en negativa. He did not. Ya las mismas, pero en negativa, ¿verdad? Si yo ya puse el did not o el didn't, el verbo ya no tiene que ir en pasado. Ya no me tengo que complicar. O sea, que es más fácil hacer oraciones negativas en pasado. <ríe> Porque si no me sé los verbos. Pero, ok, simplemente digo, uh -huh. I didn't draw beautiful pictures. So he didn't draw beautiful pictures last week. Did I learn Spanish last summer? Did you give the present to your... To your friend, did we buy a new car? Bye. Ese es un tip que tienen que recordar. El verbo va en pasado siempre y cuando la oración sea affirmative. Si la oración es negative, como ya tenemos el auxiliar did not or didn't, de forma contractada, el verbo sigue estando en base form. De la misma manera, si hago una question, como ya aut automáticamente inicié con un auxiliar, did you go to the church yesterday? Ya no puedo decir, did you went? Como ya tengo un auxiliar, el verbo sigue estando en base form. ¿Yes? Sí. Entonces, ¿cuál es el reto del pasado? Hacer las oraciones afirmativas. ¿Yes? Porque ahí sí tengo que saber la forma pasada del verbo. Ya sea este regular o irregular. En los regulares es fácil, nada más agregó ED, pero el reto es en la pronunciation. Y aquí está la pronunciation. Van a haber tres pronunciaciones, aunque sea la misma ED. Ok. Los que terminan en T y en D, en presente, al agregar la ED, siempre va a ser ED. Wanted. Needed. Yes. Invited. Siempre y cuando el verbo en presente termine en T o D sonido, ¿verdad? No necesariamente el ED. Al agregar la ED va a sonar como ED. Todo lo que terminen en estos sonidos. Esta es como La GH generalmente suena como F, como laugh. Este es breath. Que es. Ahí es, ustedes escuchan una S, aunque esté de letra doble S. Dance. Ok. X, la X. Todo eso es como sonidos como de, de aire. Son los voiceless. Entonces, al agregar la ED, voy a sonar como una T. 
por eso el de shopped. Entonces, mm -hmm. Se recuerdan en la conversation, ¿verdad? Entonces tenemos helped, looked, washed, washed, laughed, breathed, kissed, danced, fixed. Ok. Y luego los que terminan en todos estos otros sonidos, más los sonidos vocálicos, que también son considerados voice, como l, n, r, g, v, z. Esta es esta acá, pero suena como z, como una z. Entonces, w, que es como o, como w, u, como sonido vocálico. Igual que la Y, I, A, I, o sea, I, y la Z, sí, van a ser pronunciadas como una D. En sí. el caso de cold, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, sí. followed, sí. enjoyed, amazed. Y esa es como el, el reto de los verbos regulares en pasado. Siempre va a ser ED pero la pronunciación va a, hablar, va a variar dependiendo cuando estemos hablando, obviamente. Cuando estemos escribiendo no hay ningún problema. Yes. ¿Estamos hasta acá? Vaya, aquí tengo un reto. Este es un reto que esta historia creo que se la saben en Spanish. Jack and the Beanstalk. ¿Alguien se sabe esta historia? Yes. Bye, es la de los frijolitos. Bye. Entonces, ah, <ríe> entonces, inicia así. Once upon a time, there was a boy called Jack. He lived with his mother. They were very poor. All they had was a cow. One morning, Jack's mother told him to take the cow to the market and sell her. On the way, Jack met a man. He gave Jack some magic beans for the cow. Jack took the beans and went back home. When Jack's mother saw the beans, she was very angry. She threw the beans out of the window. The next morning, Jack looked out of the window. There was a giant beanstalk. He went outside and started to climb the beanstalk. He climbed up to the sky through the clouds. Jack saw a beautiful castle. He went inside. Jack heard the voice. Fee, fa, fo, fum, and ran into a cupboard. An enormous giant came into the room and sat down. On the table, there was a hen and a golden harp. Lay, said the giant. The hen laid an egg, and it was made of gold. Sing, said the giant. The harp began to sing. Soon the giant was asleep. Jack jumped out of the cupboard. He took the hen and the harp. Suddenly, the harp sang, Help, master! The giant shouted, Fee, fa, fa, fum. Jack ran and started to climb down the beanstalk. The giant came down after him. Jack shouted, Mother, help. Jack's mother took an axe and chopped down the beanstalk. The giant fell and crashed to the ground. Nobody ever saw him again. With the golden egg and the magic heart, Jack and his mother lived happily ever after. Bien. Ok. <ríe> ¿Cuál es la idea de esta historia? Que hay un montón de verbos en pasado. Entonces ustedes los tienen que encontrar. ¿Cómo voy a saber? Once upon a time there was a boy. What is the first? Cold. Cold. He. Cold. Live with his mother. Live. They were very poor. Where ya se pasado el pasado yeah. de ser, verdad? I am, I was. El pasado yeah. de I am, is, are, is, was, were. They were very poor. Mm -hmm. All they had. 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 had is in past. All they had was a cow. One morning, Jack's mother told oh. 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 to take the cow to the market and sell her. On the way, Jack met, met. 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 he gave. Gave. gave Jack some magic beans for the cow. Jack took, took. took the beans and went, went. went back home. home. When Jack 
mother. So, so, so all the beans so she, she was, 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 was very angry. She threw, the, she threw the beans threw out of the, the window. Beans. The next morning, Jack looked, looked, looked out of the window. Looked. There was a giant being stuck. He went, 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 went outside, outside and, and started, 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 started to climb the, climb the being stuck. Climb, 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 climb up to the sky through the clouds, Jack. So, so, so a beautiful, a beautiful castle. castle. He went, he went, went inside. inside. Jack, Jack heard, heard a, a voice. A voice. ¿Cómo le decía el giant? Fifty-four. <laughs> and and ran run, run into, into a cowboy. Cow An enormous An giant, giant came, came, came into the room. Into the room. And sat down. Oh, sat down on the table. The table there was, was, there was, a, was hen a hen in a golden harp. Lay, 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 lay. And the hen lay, lay, laid an egg. It was made of gold. Of gold. Pink, said Pink, the giant. Lay, lay. And the harp. Begin, begun, remember. Began. The, the giant was, was asleep. asleep. Jack, Jack jumped, 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 jumped out of the copper. Took, took, he took the hand and the harp. And Suddenly, the harp. Sang. 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 Help, master. Help, master. The giant shouted. 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 Jack, Jack shouted, shouted, mother, help. help. Jack's Jack, mother, Jack, mother, took an axe and, 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 and chopped, 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 chopped down chopped the big stuff. Down. The giant, giant fell, 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 fell and, and crashed crash to the ground. Nobody, Nobody ever saw him. 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 Again. Again. again, the golden so, egg and the magic harp. Jack and his mother, his mother lived, lived happily lived. Ever, happily after. After. ever after. Okay, the idea con esta historia es que repasemos obviamente los verse in past. Así que se las voy a enviar al grupo para que la sigan leyendo y mañana vamos a hacer questions sobre esta story, okay? que todos no sabemos, ¿verdad? In okay. Spanish, of course. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, unfortunately, it's time. Y también me voy a atrasar con la next class. I'm sorry about today. There was a, a big issue. No sé qué era lo que pasaba con el modem, pero that's why I couldn't start on time. Okay? So, I'm going to send the story okay, of Jack of being stuck, and then we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah, tomorrow, Blessing. Good night. tomorrow. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.